Welcome to Hope is Here. My name is Greg Horn, and it's hard to believe it, but it's that time of year again, and it is summer camp for us adults. Uh, all the kids have got to go to their summer camps, athletic, academics, and yet uh, us adults need to get our tanks filled and uh, we can't do a whole week like the kids, but we can take a couple of days. And uh, the adult camp I've been going to the last 25 years is the Global Leadership Summit. And it's going to be hosted again uh, Thursday and Friday, August 4th and 5th. And joining us to share about the wonderful lineup and all that's going to be going on with the Global Leadership Summit is Jay Carr. He's a part of the team there and a regional director. And Jay, uh, thanks so much for joining us today, man. Oh, Greg, it's always good to be with you. And just like you said, it's camp something we always look forward to. I come from that uh, in my background as well. But the GLS is surely that it's a time to get away, get focused, and get our mindset on leadership and how we can get better. Well, as I've shared the past several summers, I've been doing Hope is Here. This is our fifth summer that, you know, it's the best thing I've seen. I went to this when before I got in full-time ministry when I was an entrepreneur and a business person, and it's the best thing I have seen in 20 plus years uh, co combining both faith but also implementing things from the business world and uh, different aspects and it just has a real unique blend doesn't it oh yeah it, it really does and uh we we you know some people think oh leadership conference you're just going to come and listen to lectures all day and that that's that's part of it but what we do we, we really kind of strategic time this so that over the two days you're going to be able to digest and learn something and then have time to debrief that and take it back with you. It's both learning and some art elements as well. You mentioned something about how, you know, you changed in your leadership where, you know, before you got in ministry. And that's one of our, uh, the voices that is there, Craig Rochelle, the speaker, our, our champion, he attests that he was on staff at a church in Oklahoma City. and He attended the summit years ago, and it was at that point when he realized, hey, I'm more than just a minister, I'm a leader. And it really changed and transitioned where he was to where he is now, just learning and understanding, hey, I'm a leader no matter where I am. I don't have to have a title, don't have to have a position, but where I am, uh, whether I'm a, you know, I'm a husband, wife, you know, stay-at-home mom, or just a, an employee at an organization or company, you still are a leader and you have influence. Well, there's no, and that's what these two days are about: helping people get sharper and grow in their influence. Well, I can attest how much it's helped me and many, many others. And um, as the old saying goes, uh, we're all leading somebody, if nothing else, ourselves. And I think mm. people always set those New Year's resolutions that they want to grow uh, spiritually, they want to grow professionally. Yet, you get to this point of the year, you kind of start to get a little bit weary. And for me, yeah. it's just been that kind of that booster to get me to have a good, strong uh you know, surge of wisdom, knowledge, energy, and information and motivation to go into the fall and finish the year strong. Have you found that yeah. with, I know you deal with thousands of people all over the country. Have you found that to be true? Oh, yeah. Like there's a saying, we're, the way we have things set up is you have to lead yourself, lead others, lead organizations. And there's no harder person to lead than yourself. Every morning I got to get up, I have to lead myself, make the right decisions. And each day, I've got to find that source that's going to help me. You know, first of all, we go to Christ. It's going to lead me in my spiritual decisions and then in my leadership decisions. What am I going to fall back on? And what's that's going to, you know, my tools and what are the, that's going to sharpen me? And, I mean, that's, that's where this comes in handy, right in the middle of the year. Great infusion of leadership to boost you either finish out the year, starting something new. You're in the middle of something. How do we take it to the next level? You know, you're going to learn something over these two days. Well, you definitely will, and I hope everybody will take advantage. You already talked about Craig Rochelle, the founder and senior yeah. pastor at Life Church out in Oklahoma, has one of the most listened to and influential leadership podcasts, which coming from a pastor's heart. So I know we have a lot of pastors that listen to Hope is Here, uh, yet also a lot of uh, you know Christian leaders. So uh, he's a New York Times bestselling author. But, uh, man, on top of him, uh, lots of other wonderful, wonderful faculty. Uh, you shared a little bit about some of the lineup this year uh, from the spiritual end, the pastors and other Christian leaders that you have. Sure. This year, I, I mean, the, the lineup this year, every year we say this is the best one yet, and, it, and, and somehow we one-up it each year. 
We do have pastors Craig Rochelle, Life Church pastor, is going to be there. Andy Stanley is returning to the stage. He's been with us before, North Point Church uh, in north of Atlanta. He's returning. He's got a great um, book coming out, Not In It to Win It. His topic is going to be very timely um, in his message. Uh, Judah Smith, the lead pastor from Church Home, is also going to be with us this year. This first time he'll be on the summit stage. He was with us back in February in an event he did and knocked it out of the park. Uh, and so we've got pastors, and then all the way this year, it, it seems like we've got a little bit more. Oh, and Albert Tate, he was a uh, he's on a pastor out in California. He's on our board as well. He's he'll be back with us this year. And so you know we have the pastors leading. This year, the lineup uh, has a unique characteristic to it. There's six CEOs that are on the on the lineup this year. Something that we've not had before, um, and they they'll bring a little bit different perspective. You've got people like um, uh, uh, Lindsay Snyder. Her family is the West Coast knows her real well. In and Out Burger. If you ever been out west and eaten at In and Out Burger, that's her family. She's the CEO of that organization. You've got uh, Stephanie Chung, she's the former CEO of JetSuite, private aviation company. Now she's the chief growth officer of Wheels Up. Uh, Bob Iger, former CEO of Disney. You've also got uh, Johnny C. Taylor. You know, something unique about Johnny. Johnny is the CEO of Society for Human Resource Managers. Um, stands for SHRM, and we'll get into that. I mentioned something about him later as well. Someone that was just added this last week to the roster, you could kind of say he's a CEO, and that is the Academy Award-winning filmmaker that we all know and love as little Opie Taylor, but uh, Ron Howard, and, and then he was on Happy Days, he's joining the, uh, the lineup this year, and so we're really excited about that as well. Well, it's just a powerful lineup. Uh, I've been looking forward to it uh, this August because just such a powerful lineup. Albert Tate's been phenomenal when he's been there. Then yep. a guy that I'm excited about that I've watched, you know, on YouTube. I've read several of his books, but I've not heard him speak in uh, in an event. Is uh, John Acuff, and uh, uh, John yep. Acuff, I think, is going to bring a lot to the table this year. John is one of my is one that I, I actually have a personal relationship. Not to go too crazy, John and I uh, actually attended Stanford University together years ago. We actually interned at the same organization, and so John was always very whimsical, uh, very intuitive, very smart, um, and always has been just uh, and very insightful. And so he and I have kept up over the years. Um, he is going to bring a unique perspective, a unique voice as an author, but his book soundtracks, I just finished it a couple of months ago. Uh, you know, just those thoughts, the soundtracks that play in our mind, whether it's fear based or whatever that undermine our efforts and really attacking those and reframing those. The unique thing about John this year is also he's rewriting that book because he has two daughters. And his oldest daughter will be attending, not to give too many plugs here, but Sanford in the fall. My son will be going to Sanford in the fall as well. But they've rewritten the book from a college and student's perspective, some of the things we wish we would have known way back when. And so he's going to bring a unique voice this year um, with his book and his topic, very timely and very helpful. Just tuned in. We are talking with Jay Carr. Uh, he is with the Global Leadership Summit. Uh, it is going to be available this August 4th and 5th, and we'll be giving information here at the end of our program about how you can get a ticket to participate in that. And obviously a phenomenal lineup of faculty and speakers, a lot of diversity, both uh, from the spiritual, the church world, but also from, I like to call it the real world, from uh, where I was before we got into ministry. But the thing I also like, it's not just also just time for, you know, listening to people talk all the time. You also have an art element. And then the other thing that you have that I think is so key and why I love the uh, Leadership Summit is that uh, there's also some time for reflection to process the things mm -hmm. you've learned and just kind of slow down for a little bit. Talk a little bit about the art element and the reflection of time john i mean jay i'm sorry oh yeah um so what, what we do we program in like we really want it to be all encompassing not just all about the mind we want to tap into your heart and what's going on there as well so there's some art elements uh showing leadership in art 
Uh, Mandy Harvey, some people may remember her. She was on America's Got Talent 2017. She was a Golden Buzzer a, a winner where it, they went up. I mean, she hit the Golden Buzzer and was pushed right through. She's deaf. And she was able to sing, perform, despite her uh, restrictions there. And she's gone on and become more influential out of that. So she'll be there. She'll share, um, as well as Lady A. Many people know the uh, performing artists. They'll be there, do some songs. And so we really try and incorporate different elements over the two days to make it more than just a conference, sit down, face forward. We do try and incorporate those different opportunities as well as there's times that we pause, we reflect, we help you understand, just begin that debrief. Um, I have a colleague of mine, he runs a site, and it's kind of funny, at his site and in person, he tells people you have seven days to debrief with a team, with your spouse, with someone else, to say, what were those takeaways? What were the key things? And otherwise you don't get to get into heaven if you don't debrief. Now, he does that jokingly. But that's the key thing is we try and build in those times where you start to process, what's my one, number one takeaway? How do I implement this? How do I get better in this? Um, we want you to begin that process before you leave. So you don't come and just learn and be a sponge, but we want you to take it. We call it fresh, actionable content. We want you to be able to go back to work wherever you are on Monday after the conference ends on Friday. Go back in to that in your home, in your marriage, in your workplace. Be able to put this straight away, right into action. And so that, that's some of the elements we build into the two days, create that time and space for that to happen. Well, another benefit of attending uh, the Global Leadership Summit this August 4th and 5th, it's a Thursday, Friday, is that uh, there's an opportunity for uh, some people to receive professional developmental credits, and I know people are always looking for those type of professional yeah. develop credits. Can you share a little bit about that? Yeah. This year we have a unique opportunity. Johnny C. Taylor, as I mentioned him earlier, he is the CEO for the Society for Human Resource Managers. And what makes that interesting is they have accredited the Global Leadership Summit. So there's uh, over 300,000 members in the Society for Human Resource. They call it SHRM, S-H-R-M, around the country, uh, something like 500 chapters. And if I am a member of SHRM and attend the summit, you can receive 11.25, they call them professional development credits, or many people refer to them as CEUs. You register your attendance, you get their certificate, you turn it in, and it will count towards your uh, credits for that, that year and, and, and I mean, ongoing. And so that's just an added value for attending. There's other organizations that do that, but it comes down to who is the accrediting organization, whether I'm a teacher whether I, I have some accountants that get their organization to say, hey, this, yeah, we'll accredit that. You just check with those. Your accrediting board uh, teachers as well um, can receive some, especially in the Christian school. We have accreditation through uh, Christian schools where a Christian school teacher can get some hours as well. Well, Jay, unfortunately, we've uh, only got a, about a minute left. Uh, what is the best way if people say, hey, I want to get a ticket for the Global Leadership Summit Thursday, Friday, August 4th and 5th? Yeah, best way to find out more information, find either a local site or go online is globalleadership.org. It's globalleadership.org forward slash summit. Specifically, you can get right to it, get the information, register to participate online. Possibly, you, you may, if you're interested to travel and go find a place in person, uh, that's the best way to do it. Well, Jay, I'm super excited. You've got another great lineup. You've got the, the art element. Um, you've got the bonus of Ron Howard, and then I love that time of reflection. Uh, can't wait for August 4th and 5th. Thanks so much for sharing some of your valuable time to share about the Global Leadership Summit. Oh, Greg, it's always a pleasure to be with you, and look forward to seeing you all at the summit where we're all going to get better and grow in our leadership. Sounds like a plan. For Jay Carr, I'm Greg Horn, and this is Hope is Here.